this is what our air filter looks like. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering, and here it is. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. We are still here in our little hotel room in the city center of Rio. It's a beautiful gray morning in the city. So today is a really special day where everyone has been waiting for because mm. we get a service done today. <laughs> <laughs> it will be the first service after 10,000 kilometers, after a long stretch through the Sahara Desert. It will be really interesting to see how the air filter will look like and we will, <laughs> we will change the oil filter as well. Yeah, I think it's definitely time that we, uh, that we do a couple of those things. We've been given an air filter and an oil filter We've got these parts from Motorcycle World. Thanks guys. <laughs> and they'll do a couple of other bits to it, an oil change. It's basically going to get Bumblebee ready for the next leg. So the garage is about 20 minutes from here and the traffic here in Rio is absolutely crazy. So we are heading now to get Bumblebee ready and then head over to the garage. Let's go give Bumblebee a makeover. <laughs> Look at that, first time, first time start. Amazing. Okay. Back on the roads of Rio. <laughs> the bus driver is eating and he is looking on his phone. <laughs> he is a multitasker, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. All right, that's us on the road on Avenida Rio Branco. Oh, this uh, new visor that I got is so clear. Oh my God. I can actually see everything around. For the last a thousand miles of the journey, I couldn't really even see anything. So it says we got about what is it, about five and a half miles? Yes. To get down to Botafogo, to get mm -hmm. to the garage. So let's hope it's a smooth ride down to Botafogo. I think there will be quite a lot of traffic stops. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, out of the city center. And uh, we're now following this little highway that runs around the coastline. And this is much more free flowing and we can get down to the south of Rio, to Botafogo. Sugarloaf Mountain just in front of us. Oh yeah, just up there. Cool. Yeah, and as soon as you get out of the central, busy financial district, the city center, it's just so much greener, there's more trees. As you head into the south, there's a much nicer atmosphere to drive in, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh... Riding through the city center is a nightmare. <laughs> uh. Yeah, now you can see Sugarloaf Mountain very well. Yeah, and these massive cliffs rising up in between the ocean and the city. It's such a beautiful backdrop to the city. It looks absolutely stunning. Wow. What a location, eh? What a location. Mm. Ah, and there is Christ the Redeemer. <laughs> Beautiful. Just, just, just covered tiny bit by clouds. It's a pretty grey day today. But there you can see him, Jesus Christ up there, overlooking the city. <laughs> yeah, some really nice attractions in Rio, some really nice special places. Yeah, so much to discover, so much to see. So we are just due to arrive at our garage in just a minute and this is our old neighborhood Botafogo. We have spent about two weeks here. Yeah, it was our first place we came to the first hostel in Rio in the leafy suburbs of the south. This is it. Yes. Okay, I'll pull off the street. 
Okay. Okay, cool. Ego yes. Motos in Botafogo. Cool. Bumblebee is on the rack. Bumblebee is there. We're here at Ego Motos. Yes. And I'm super excited to see how the air filter is. Oh my god, me too. This is like me the too. main reason I want to get it looked at. I just want to see what's happening with this air filter. Yes, me too. The guys at Ego Moto here, they are gonna uh, do everything that's necessary to get us going for the next leg. Exactly. Change the air filter, mm -hmm. change the oil filter, change the oil. Basically give Bumblebee a good round of TLC. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So they actually have as well some V-Stroms here in, uh, in this dealership. So they have the garage at the back and the dealership at the front. And look, it's Bumblebee's cousin. Look at that. It's the black Bumblebee. I believe here in Brazil that they actually just released the V-Strom uh, this year. So what is the V-Strom 2020 model in the UK is actually the 2022 model here in Brazil. So this is a brand new bike here and there aren't that many of them on the road. We certainly haven't seen any on the road. They actually just said that they were quite impressed with how clean Bumblebee is and how like in a good condition despite the fact that we've crossed like the whole Sahara. Bumblebee still looks good. <laughs> Nothing like a free coffee when you're waiting. Flamengo. <laughs> James and the world. Apparently the best team in Brazil. Bumblebee's naked. Oh, that's a little bit sandy. A little bit dusty. Bumblebee is getting stripped down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> getting taken apart. Is it the air filter that's the difficult part? Ah, yeah. under, under the tank. Under yeah. the tank. So really funny here, yes. our uh, lock um, melted a little bit because it's like just in front of the exhaust and we didn't realize it for a long time. So it just sort of melted. And then we tried to uh, get the lock off. So we put the keys in, but the keys there broke. <laughs> So that was just like hanging there and uh, without any reason really. We asked other guys, maybe we can, maybe we can break it. I think we finally get to the air filter. <laughs> wow! <laughs> This is what our air filter looks like. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering, and here it is. Our air filter and the new air filter. You know what, that doesn't look that bad, does it? I'm not sure, I don't know really. But uh, it's quite nice actually, quite romantic when you think about that the sand here is from the Mauritanian desert, the Moroccan <laughs> desert, a little bit from Senegal as well. Yeah. So it's the whole history of the journey all in these little grooves. <laughs> 10,000 kilometers. <laughs> you guys can tell me in the comments if you think that that looks really bad from an air filter standard or not. Here is the master. It's gone! Wow! <laughs> you can 
It's a nice clean out. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Woo! <laughs> New air filter. Check. <laughs> really good. Yes. Now we're getting to the oil. Let's have a look. Let's get a nice oil chain done. <laughs> Oh la la! Oh yeah! Oh oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow! How much oil! Wow! Yeah, it's like honey. You want to try it a little bit? <laughs> so that's what the new oil looks like, and this is what the old oil looks like. Oh my god! It's really like dark and black. Mmm, yummy yummy. It's like a new bike already. Our brake pads were very very low. Look at that. There's like nothing. That's that's no. a new one. <laughs> well, nothing. It's no over. Way. Wow, crazy. You Did not see. Yeah. Eh? yeah. <laughs> Woo! Coming off the ramp. The best mechanic in town. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow. Good as new. Amazing. Do you think the bike will make it another 10,000 kilometers? Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Ta da! <laughs> it's like a new. Bumblebee now. To summarize what they've done here at Egomoto, they have changed the air filter and oil filter that we provided. They've changed the oil, which apparently was really, really necessary. <laughs> um, they've actually aligned the rear wheel because apparently that was misaligned. They changed uh, the brake pads. That was bordering on dangerous, that was. So yeah, that's I, really good <laughs> that they've put new brake pads in the back. Yeah, I think we really learned something here to check this like regularly. Absolutely. They gave Bumblebee a really good clean inside as well and donated to us this piece. So this is a radiator guard. They saw that our radiator had been hit by a lot of stones uh, because we went on a lot of gravel and there was quite a lot of damage to the radiator. Oh my God, I'm so, so thankful. Thank you so much, guys. Really, you saved our lives. <laughs> You've been so kind and so nice. So that's it, it's done. The service is complete. <laughs> Bumblebee has had some good TLC. So we are ready to hit the road for the next 4,000 miles or 6,000 kilometers where we then have our next oil change waiting for us. <laughs> yeah, and checking the brakes because we left it way too long this time. <laughs> yes. But that is it for today's episode. We just wanted to show you guys that uh, we were going to take care of Bumblebee, that we are doing a service before we leave Rio. And thank you so much Ego Motors for your amazing customer service. We felt so welcomed and we absolutely love your Suzuki shop here. Mm. And Andrea, thank you so much for everything. We mm -hmm. really appreciate it, so yes. thank you so much. So that's it from today's episode. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel, share the video with your friends and family, comments below. We will see you next time. Nice. Around oh the world God. with ego. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Very cool.